Hello, my name is Tara and today I'm going to be showing you how to play the detective game. Now this game can be played with two, three or more people. Minimum number is two people. These are the things that you're going to need for this game. First of all, you need some instruments. Now you could have some conventional instruments in your house such as guitar, piano, xylophone, or you could use some found sounds around your house. For example, a mug with some pens makes for a good shaker sound. A salt shaker, or pepper, if that's your thing. A saucepan and a whisk. A wave drum. tambourine, a ukulele that you can also use as a drum, some desk bells, some jingle bells, an egg shaker or two. You can use pretty much anything that will make some sort of noise. Today, we are going to be looking at the detective game in the context of the song Sea Sketches. Sea Sketches has two main parts. The first part is all about a calm sea. To begin with, let's find some instruments or some sounds and try and make a calm C sound. Hmm, I'm going to start with my salt shaker. Like the calm, soft waves on the shore. With my egg shaker, how quiet can you make your sound? Like the soft, gentle waves of the ocean lapping at the shore. My ukulele, soft, gentle sounds. Like gentle waves, or the sun rising over the shore. How pleasant. Now, the second part of Sea Sketches is all about the breakers, the crashing waves coming in upon the shore. And you could imagine that there's a storm a brewing. We're going to take our sounds and our instruments and try and make some loud crashing sounds like massive waves crashing on the shore. I'm going to start with my pens. And now, my saucepan and my whisk. Pepper shaker. And my ukulele. And some loud crashes. Last of all, my wave drum. Not only should we do really quiet and really loud, but we've got to practice going between the two. So for example, I'm going to take my two egg shakers and start really quietly. And then the sound is slowly going to get louder and bigger. Imagine there's a storm brewing all of a sudden. There's thunder in the air, and the waves are crashing down, and then the storm starts to calm, and the sea goes back to being calm. You're going to need those sounds for the detective game now. I will explain to you how to play the detective game. 
First, you will need one person to be the detective. You can even give yourself a detective name. Then you will need a second person to hide an object somewhere in your room. I would advise your object to be something that's not too small and something that's not too big so it's not too easily found. Today I'm going to hide my shiny purple water bottle and then Detective Tara, my twin sister, is going to have to go and find it. The first thing to do is Detective needs to go out of the room and no peeking. The next step is, while the detective is out of the room, you need to quietly hide an object somewhere in the room. Hmm, where am I going to put this one? Come with me. Okay everyone, I'm going to hide the bottle behind the TV. Shh. Now the bottle is hidden behind the TV, I'm going to help my detective get to the bottle by playing my instruments loud and soft. The closer the detective gets to the bottle, the louder your sounds are going to be. Think of the big crashing waves as they get closer. But if your detective moves away from the item, you need to get quieter. It's a bit like that game Hot and Cold. So I'm going to go get Detective Tara now and I'm going to show you how I can help her find the object using sounds. Hmm, I wonder where the bottle could be. What's that? Oh, I must be quite far away. play the detective game using quiet sounds like a calm sea and loud sounds and everything in between. I hope you've enjoyed my instructional video of the detective game.